With the Earth's surface covered mostly with water, some mysterious bodies of water are bound to surface. But no other body of water evokes wonder and mystery more than lakes. Today we're going to be looking at 10 of the most horrifyingly mysterious lakes in this world. Make sure to watch till the end. Everyone's mystery is literally at biblical proportions. Number 10. Tall Lake Also known as the lake within a lake, Tall Lake is a sight to behold. Located in the Philippines' own Takatie City, it is the area's most famous tourist attraction, attracting millions of visitors every year, both local and foreign. But why would such a picturesque natural wonder be so horrifying? Well, if the fact the lake itself sits inside the crater of an ancient volcano that may explode any time doesn't send chills down your spine, well, then the legend surrounding it just might. Legend tells of a wise old man who once lived in Tagatie, who strictly forbade all the townspeople from venturing into a mountain. This mountain was filled with natural resources and the old man wanted to preserve it. The townsfolk initially obeyed his command, staying clear of the mountain. Then one day the old man mysteriously vanished. With the old man gone, no one was able to stop the townsfolk from stripping the mountain bare. When the old man eventually returned, he was angered by what the townsfolk had done and called upon a calamity on the people. A violent earthquake shook the mountain, and thunder and fire poured down from the skies, killing every last villager. And then to cover up its own massacre, water poured out onto all sides of the mountain, forever burying any of the evidence. Number 9. Lake Hiller Nothing colored bubblegum pink could ever be horrifying, right? Well, except for the blob, Majin Buu, and a few other things as well. Either way, hold that thought for a moment while we talk about Lake Hiller in Western Australia. This coloration is due to the presence of a specific species of microalgae. This is called Dunaliala salina. This lurks in the waters. These are saline thriving photosynthetic critters that generate energy in their bodies by soaking in the white sun rays, absorbing every wavelength of incoming light except orange and red. So basically the pink coloration is caused by these microalgae reflecting the light that they don't absorb. The question is, can you swim in it? Well, definitely. The presence of this microalgae even in the billions don't pose a problem when they come in contact with human skin. So yes, you should be perfectly fine swimming in it. That is, if you keep your mouth closed. Although they won't cause you direct harm with skin contact, just drinking a glass of this pink water, however yummy it might look, will result in kidney failure. Number 8. The Plitvice Lakes The term the Plitvice Lakes refers to is 16 large and small lakes surrounded by forests, but also to the entire area where they are located. It is the eastern part of the region of Lika, between the mountains called Malacapella and Lika Pajika, which I'm pretty sure I just mispronounced, but let's keep going with it. This is most commonly called Plitvice. The present day name has completely obscured the ancient one, Devil's Garden. This is the term used in ancient times when this exceptional beauty of nature was revered by the people. In that distant era, this isolated, poorly explored area gave around to the creation of legends featuring lake fairies, harsh winters, robust highlanders, and forest beasts, and the most famous one, the one about the Black Queen who created the Plitvice Lakes. As the legend has it, after a long, terrible drought that befell the province, people, animals, and plants were longing for every drop of precious water. Even the Black River that brought water to the whole area went dry. The people prayed persistently, until one day, from the fairy place hidden high in the steep rock walls of the mountain Velabit, the Black Queen descended into the valley with her magnificent entourage. Having heard the peasants' prayers, the Queen took mercy and promised to give them water in abundance. Accompanied by furious winds and deafening thunder, rain started to pour down on the dry lands. It rained so heavily and for such a long time that the abundance of water created lakes in the Black River's bed. Number 7. Rupkund Lake In 1942, a British forest guard in Rupkund, India made an alarming discovery. Some 16,000 feet above sea level at the bottom of a small valley was a frozen lake absolutely full of skeletons. That summer, the ice melting revealed even more skeletal remains, floating in the water and lying haphazardly around the lake's edges. Something obviously horrible had happened here. The immediate assumption as it being wartime was that these were the remains of Japanese soldiers who had died of exposure while sneaking through India. However, upon examination, they realized these bones were not from the Japanese soldiers. They weren't fresh enough. It was evident that the bones were quite old indeed. 
flesh, hair, and the bones themselves have been preserved by the dry, cold air, but no one could properly determine exactly when they were from. More than that, they had no idea what had killed over 200 people in this small valley. Many theories were put forth, including an epidemic landslide and ritual suicide. Studies are still being conducted to this day, hoping to solve this mystery once and for all. Number 6. Lake Natron like the proverbial light of the moth, this lake attracts wildlife from all over the area. The problem is, once this lake from hell gets a hold of an animal, or possibly even a human, it never lets go. Seated deep in eastern Africa, Lake Natron of Tanzania can be deemed as a true marvel of nature, even without its death-inducing mysteries. The lake itself is abundant in Natron, a naturally occurring sodium compound containing a mixture of sodium carbonate, bicarbonate, chloride, and sulfates. This boosts the alkalinity of its water to a whopping 10 on the pH scale. Whenever a bird or animal strays in to quench its thirst in the lake, the boiling water kills the animal, submerging its body beneath the depths. The natron then quickly works on the body, calcifying the carcass and sending it floating back up to the surface, so a statuesque skeleton emerges carved clean by nature. Number 5. Groom Lake Groom Lake is a dry salt lake bed located in Nevada, United States. It was once used as a runway for the Nellis Bombing Range Test Site Airport. Aside from that, you probably know as much about this lake as me. And unless you're part of the US military, Groom Lake has always been shrouded in mystery due to its association to another mysterious Nevada location. And I'm of course talking about Area 51. Part of the Area 51 USAF installation, it lies on an elevation of 4,409 feet and is approximately 3.7 miles from north to south and 3 miles from east to west at its widest point, and is also approximately 11.3 miles in circumference. As we all know, Area 51 is the infamous place where conspiracy theorists claim to be the site of everything from time travel research to an underground transcontinental railroad to a secret lab where aliens work with the government to reverse engineer alien technology. There is little evidence for any of the fanciful claims that people have made, though. Its more likely use is just as exciting, though. A secret testing space for experimental aircraft of a terrestrial nature, many of which could easily be considered unidentified flying objects. Number 4. La Bria Pitch Lake Who says lakes have to be made of water? The Pitch Lake is located in southwest Trinidad in the village of La Bria. It's the largest and most significant pitch lake in the world, measuring approximately 100 acres and is estimated to be 76 meters deep in the center. The liquid asphalt is black and viscous, but the surface is semi-solid and can be walked on. The asphalt is so soft in some areas that an individual can slowly sink if he or she stands on the surface too long. In some places, one can put a stick through the asphalt and remove liquid tar. Although the lake appears to be quiescent, the asphalt still moves with a natural slow stirring action. Not only can the flow lines be seen on the surface of the asphalt, but prehistoric trees and other objects have been known in the past to have appeared, disappeared, and reappeared. It has been a major source of asphalt throughout the world ever since 1595 when Sir Walter Raleigh happened upon its shores on his quest to find El Dorado. Too bad he wasn't looking for the Fountain of Youth, which is the nickname the local villagers had given to the warm, healing pools of sulfur-infused waters that pop up around the lake during rainy season. Number 3. Laguna, Colorado Somewhere around 14,000 feet above sea level is Laguna, Colorado, Bolivia's stunning white speckled red lake. Part of Bolivia's salt wonders of the Altiplano, the lake and its nearly extinct flamingo population draw visitors to the bizarre otherworldly landscape. Besides flamingo, the area is home to various fauna, including llamas, alpacas, Andean foxes, cats, and pumas. The various colors of Laguna, Colorado stand out immediately upon seeing it. Tinged with red algae and other microorganisms, the water is a deep orange-red hue. Perfectly contrasted, the salt lake is dotted with large white pools caused by massive borax deposits on the lake's surface. A rare breed of flamingo has also flocked to the area for centuries. James's flamingo, also called the Puna flamingo, is native to the Andes and the Altiplano area. Although they seem plentiful on the shores of Colorado, they are in fact very rare. During the mid-1950s, scientists had all but written them off as extinct until a pack was found roaming South America. Why they constantly come back to this area of the world, scientists can only speculate, just adding even more mystery to the already mysterious looking lake. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's photo comes from a subscriber, and I have to say, it truly does look mysterious. Is there something lurking under its dark blue waters? Or is there a mystery on how this lake was formed? Number 2. 
Uganda's Mystery Lake. Like I mentioned, this photo you're seeing came from a subscriber. This mysterious looking lake with its dark waters definitely look like it is hiding something, but what could it be hiding? A quick image search revealed that this lake is situated in Uganda, and that's really about it. But with a bit of good old internet sleuthing, its secrets can now finally be revealed. This lake is just one of the many lakes that can be found in the Queen Elizabeth National Park. How these lakes were formed thousands of years ago and the story is quite fascinating. They are classified as meteor lakes and they were formed from the craters left by meteors striking the earth millions of years ago. Over time, water collected inside them and life soon after followed. So this Ugandan mystery lake isn't quite as mysterious after all. But if it turns out that these lakes house a previously undiscovered colony of Nessies, we'll definitely let you know. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. The Dead Sea Ironically named because it's really a lake, the Dead Sea has been shrouded in mystery for millennia. Just to give you an idea, written accounts of this incredible body of water dates as far back as the time of the Sumerians. It has been long believed that worldwide legends of the Great Flood stem from an actual event that resulted in the formation of this huge lake. But its wonder and mystery doesn't stop there. It is practically impossible to drown there. The Dead Sea's salinity level is almost nine times as salty as any ocean. Anything floats here. The water's salt boosted density is so great that people endowed with a generous layer of body fat can hardly swim and may merely flail over the surface as if they were crawling across a sandy dune. Better not to try and instead just turn over on your back and enjoy the bizarre wonder of a lake in which it may be almost impossible to drown. One more small fact before we wrap up here, the Dead Sea surface lies 1,378 feet below sea level and it is 1,083 feet deep. Which mysterious lake are you most interested in? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos on amazing and mysterious places? Check out any of the videos you see on the screen. As always everybody, thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time. Later everybody!